Hi everyone and welcome back to my craft room. My name is Kelsey. I also call myself Dinosaur Mama and today we are going to talk about Cricut Design Space. So if you are active on Instagram, TikTok, um, Facebook, you will notice that a lot of people have been talking about the beta version of Cricut Design Space. And what beta is, is when they are testing out new features they want to offer to people but it might still have some glitches or some problems, but you get to try out those features first. So what did I do? I changed over to beta to check out the new features that they're offering right now in Cricut Design Space. So let's talk about how you even get to beta, how you change over to beta from the live version of Cricut Design Space. You'll go to your hamburger menu and if you scroll down, you'll see what's new and that's going to go through what all the different updates are. It's going to tell you what they've changed in every update and this is when they actually go live with those updates. This isn't the beta version. So these are all live updates that you see. So if you are using the live version of Cricut Design Space, these are all the updates. But you're going to go back to the hamburger menu and go to settings and then you switch over to beta. It's going to give you a warning saying if you switch, it's going to close everything out. So make sure you save anything that you're working on before you switch to beta. So it went ahead and it closed out my um, canvas, my Cricut Design Space. And um, it did take a while to reopen. I actually had to close the program twice before it was able to load properly. And now I'm able to open the canvas in the beta version of Cricut Design Space. So the two things that are different right now with the beta version are print and cut and text warping. And text warping is something that you can definitely do within Inkscape for free. And I will be teaching how to do that in my next XVG tutorial. So if you're not subscribed to my channel just yet, you should do that now so that you can learn how to do this within Inkscape. What I do not like about the text warp within Cricut Design Space is that you have to be an Access member to utilize this function. This is not free. They are preset warping positions, I guess you'll say, and you have to pay for this. You have to be part of Access, which I know is only $10 a month, but I have this deep-seated hatred for this subscription <laughs> for some reason, and I just feel like these kind of look like I have I don't know how else to describe it like a Microsoft PowerPoint word um warping like that's all I can think about when I see them so I will teach you how to warp text in Inkscape in my next tutorial so stay tuned for that let's look at the print and cut feature so this is another big change and you really only need these bigger sizes if you have a printer that is you can print on on this size paper so I have a printer that can only print on legal and on letter paper. So the max that the width is, is eight and a half. Um, but if you have a printer that is bigger than that, then by all means, you can test out the beta version. I have to admit, though, I did end up switching back to the normal Cricut live version of Design Space because this beta version of print and cut was giving me all sorts of hell. And even after two calibrations, it's still not correct. So that's something to keep in mind with these beta versions are that this is a test. They're testing out what works and what doesn't work. And sometimes it might mess up what you're doing. So just be prepared that it's not going to be perfect. So now I'm going to switch back over to the live version and you'll see the difference with the print and cut. So I have the same B that I had up before. It is still a print and cut and I'm going to go to make it. And in the beta version, the lines that your light is checking for the print and cut are just in the corners in the beta version. It, it maxes out the whole paper, but just in the corners. Whereas for the live version, you'll have that black box around your printing cut. And you'll see I only have two sizes of paper, whereas in the beta version, I think I had like six. Um, I, you can utilize the full page by moving around your print and cut objects. Um, and you'll see for text, I no longer have that warp available at the top. And it doesn't matter because I don't pay for Cricut Access, so I wouldn't have access to it anyway. So <laughs> it, it really doesn't matter. It's just annoying that they keep offering these things, but you have to pay for them. Um, 
So I'm going to teach you how to do it without paying for it. And I definitely wanted to show you the results of the printing cut. And this is on both and I did calibrate it. So I kind of feel like switching to beta messed up my printing cut in general. And I do plan on calibrating again until it fixes it. However, I am just exhausted from trying to do it. And so you see, this is the beta version. Those lines are just in the corner of the paper and my cut is so off. It's like not even close to where it's supposed to be. It was supposed to have a nice even white offset around the entire letter. And I'm, it's just so off. It's, it's not right. So, um, this was the beta version. This was the first one that I did after I switched to beta. I regret switching to beta because I really didn't need to do it in the first place. And now here's when I switched back from beta, um, to the live version and I did calibrate my machine and it's still slightly off. And so I just have to keep calibrating until I get it right. Um, some people suggested like resetting the whole machine and I might have to do that as well. But overall, I'm just not having a lot of success with printing cut and my Cricut. And I think it's time to break out the silhouette. Well, as you can see, I am not the biggest fan of the current beta version of Cricut Design Space. So I will be sticking with the live version at least until the next beta version comes out. And then I'll test out some of those features as well. However, I do have to say it is a little disappointing that they offer some of these features for Cricut Access members only. Um, something like warping, I feel like should be included, just like the curve feature is included for design space. But I digress, and I will be teaching you how to warp text in my next SVG tutorial. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing so that you can see that video coming up. Stay crafty.